Hello my friends, welcome to Prime Strings and to the Learn to Do Your Violin in 30 Days course. I'm Henriette and today is day four. Today we are going to learn how to play the left hand fingers on the strings and I'm so excited to get you going on this. By the end of this lesson you will be able to play all four fingers on the string with a good bow hold, a good violin hold and a good left hand position. If you have not already done so, please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell button so I can update you on the other 26 lessons in this course as soon as they are published. I shall play you your tuning notes now so you can tune your violin and get ready to play. So here is your A. sound like this. for a moment until you're ready. So we're going to dive in straight away today. When we play the left hand it is important that this ridge of knuckles should be level with the strings. So this ridge of knuckles here should be level with the strings. To help me find the right level of my hand I have written a finger line on the base of my index finger on my left hand. It might be helpful if you had a finger line written on your finger like this too. Now, pretend that you have got a big tennis ball in your hand like this. And now let's place the left hand in the correct position at the beginning of the string. I can show you that here. Look, my finger line makes a tiny little V shape with the E string there. So when my ridge of knuckles is high enough here, you want your thumb to just peek over the edge. You can just see it there. Okay, my thumb should rest there, just loosely rest there. Try not to grip it too much or stick it up too high or leave it underneath the violin. So make sure that your thumb comes up just peeking over the edge and your finger line is level with the E string there. Now, this is the right shape of my hand, so I pretend I've got a big tennis ball in my hand here. Okay, so a lot of people tend to grip the violin here, but this is why we practiced holding the violin with your neck, remember, in lessons two and three. And you should hold it more with your neck now, so that you, your left hand is more or less working without having to hold up the violin. Of course that is always a balance and I won't go into that today too much uh, but just so you know that you can or you can for now hold up your violin with your hand as well here. Now I'm going to play the fingers on the A string to start with and I curl up my index finger so that there is no space in between so I curl it up completely. If you half curl it up like that you haven't gone quite as far as you need to go so you want to curl it up completely and I'm placing it on the A string here. So you can do this with, this with me and we're just practicing it dry at first before we go and move it on with the bow. <coughs> My second finger is going to go on the A string as well uh, with a space of about a finger width in between. You can probably tell that my fingers are on their fingertips and maybe it's easier to see that from this end. You can see how my fingers are on their fingertips. Finger number three will be right next to finger number two and finger number four 
we'll come down a finger space width apart from the third finger again. Okay, so the fingers are called fingers one, two, three, and four. And you can see the pattern that my fingers make on the string. Now, give your arm a little rest, and then we'll pick it up again. So my finger line goes level with the E string, just there, I hope you can see it just there. My thumb is a little bit of up, so your thumb is not there, but it's up a little bit. Uh, just peeking over the edge, and the whole shape of my hand is just as if I have a big tennis ball in my hand. Now let's get the bow, and let's get started. So, my left hand is ready to play. I'm just sorting out my bow hold now. And then we're going to play on the A string, and we're going to play each note twice with long bows, just focusing on the way we are going to put our fingers down. So your first finger is curled up completely and I'm going to place it on the A string, a little bit away from the beginning of the string. Let's play this note now, shall we? I'm using long bows, so your finger is on A and I'm playing long bows with a straight bow. Very nice. Now, place your second finger about a finger width apart from your first finger. I shall play this note again, so if you need to adjust it, either go a little bit higher or a bit lower, you can find the right pitch on your violin too. So here comes the second finger. Now if you put your third finger right by the side of your second finger, it will sound like this. And my pinky comes a little space apart from my third finger. notice that I start adding fingers so when I add a new finger my old finger is not going to go up again I leave every finger that I've played on the string where it is let's do that again shall we so just give your arm a little bit of a shake so it rests a little bit okay place your finger line level with the E string your thumb just peeking over the edge and the, the shape of my hand is like a big tennis ball. So my wrist is pushed out a little bit like that. Curl up your index finger now. And place it on the A string. And we'll play this finger twice. Stop the bow. Add your second finger to it. So you leave your first finger on the string. the bow moment. Now I'm going to place my third finger and my third finger is right next to the second finger. And then I'm placing my fourth finger, my pinky, a space away from the third finger. That's absolutely awesome. Give your arm a really well deserved rest. Okay, you may want to rest your arm quite frequently because this is really hard work for a left hand. Um, it uses movements that we don't use in everyday life. So uh, practice this frequently and take little breaks in between. So once your hand has had a little rest, let's do this again. And this time we'll go, we'll go up from finger one all the way up to the finger four and then we start taking away our fingers again. So we'll go up and down this little route. So, here we go. Check out your finger line. Check over your thumb. Check over your tennis ball. And now curl up your index finger, place it on the A string, a little section away from the beginning of the string there. And now we're going to go one, one, and we're not going to stop.
laid, well done. So give your arm another rest again. And we're going to play that one more time. And this time we're going to start on the open A string. So we started previously on finger number one, but now we're going to go and play the open string first. So when you're ready, when your arm is rested a bit, Put your violin up on your shoulder again. Make sure you slide it up towards your ear a little bit more. Okay, check over your finger line. Check over your thumb. Check over your tennis ball. Now, let's have the bow on the A string and you aim to play with long bows, of course. Here we go. One, two. That is great play. Before we wrap up for today, let's just review the left hand pizzicato exercise again that we did in day three. We want to keep practicing this exercise to make the fingers strong and to give them a sense of direction. So here we go. I'm going to put my thumb into that soft corner here at the neck of the violin and then I'm going to bring my left elbow under the violin and now my fingers go up and over so I can reach the G string with my pinky. And we're going to practice plucking four times on every string. One. Your ring finger is for the D string. Your middle finger is for the A string. And your index finger is for the E string. Now bring this hand back again to the beginning of the string so that your finger line is level with the E string and your thumb is in place. And now we're just going to wriggle our elbow like this just to make sure that it is nice and relaxed. Well done. I am super pleased with your progress today. Well done, you're really into your violin playing now. If you enjoyed this lesson, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends and family. If you have any questions after this lesson, do please write your questions in the comments section below. I also welcome your comments and I promise I do get back to you. Thanks for watching. And I look forward to seeing you again on day five.